So hello there, my name's Dane Lemaitre and welcome to the video and um, this is another Ertl collection video but it's one that's slightly different um, so I mean quite regularly I get people ask me on my what was that, say what I like to call my normal videos when I go around to preserved railways and train spotting um, if there is ever going to be an Ertl collection one again as you can see here um, I've got a lot of the uh, my Ertl collection um, I do have them out of the box as well um, but anyway um, on the 9th of March it will be seven years since I've done the first what I call Ertl collection update although before that I've done one video which showed all my unboxed ones out of the boxes as well um, so obviously seven years is quite a long time so anyway and uh, I was on my way home from work the other day and I mean sometimes you know I just get random ideas in my head and think oh hang on a minute what if I did this sort of video what if I did that sort of video so like I said literally I was driving home from work and I thought to myself why don't I do an Ertl one but of my top sort of favourite ones uh, and so without further ado uh, this is my top 15 favourite Ertl characters in the Thomas Tank Engine range So in 15th place, and what I'm doing in this video is I'm starting from 15th, going down to 1st, obviously like 1st being the best, and 15 being, you know, my favourite but not quite as favourite. Um, no personal reason really, just, you know, just the order I decided to put them in. Um, so first off here we've got the biplane, which is also known as Tiger Moth, which first appeared in Series 5, and um, appeared up till Series 9. And obviously now the show isn't made using models, um, hasn't been seen since Series 9. And however, if you go to Drayton Manor in the Discover Thomas exhibition, you can see the model from the TV series there, and a number of other characters as well. Um, but yeah, I really like this, um, so the biplane as well. I mean, I do like trains, but I do sort of like planes as well, I suppose. I've got a bit of a soft spot for them, really. So this is the biplane, as you can see here. Like I said, it always makes me laugh because it says biplane on the back and on the front, of course. And obviously, to me, it's known as Tiger Moth, which obviously it does say there as well. But anyway, that is the biplane. So, in 14th place, we have Lord Harry. Uh, Lord Harry was later renamed Patrick. And it was only in the railway series, never in the television series, you know. But at the same time, um, like most of the engines in the Thomas Tank Engine TV series and railway series, they are based upon real engines. And I've been to the Snowdon Mountain Railway, and uh, Lord Harry is a mountain engine that climbs up the mountain railway. And um, I've seen Padan, which is his basis. And as you can see here, I've got two models, so I've got one in like the newer style of packaging. And a nice description card on the back. Although there I would say his boiler's not sloped down like it should be. As far as I'm concerned, the boilers are meant to be sloped, so the water doesn't all collect in one end. Um, a bit more sloped on this one. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's that one. And then here... I've got the metallic version, and uh, I absolutely love the metallic version. And again, I'm quite sort of lucky to get a hold of that because even when that was in the shops, um, I never really saw that one. But obviously, thankfully nowadays we have uh, internet shopping, and uh, I got that off the internet. Um, so that is Lord Harry slash Patrick, whatever you want to call him. I so say they've released him as Lord Harry, like I said, but he was obviously later on renamed Patrick after one of the climbers that he saved. So next off in 13th place we've got Stepney, uh, also known as Stepney the Bluebell Engine. Again, uh, one of my favourite characters. And Stepney, um, again, he's based upon a real engine. Um, he's actually based upon Stepney on the Blue Rail Railway, uh, which last year, for the first time, I was lucky to actually go and see. And he's a Terrier tank engine locomotive. And then last year as well, um, I went over to the Isle of Wight and they had a Terrier weekend gala in June. And I was lucky to go on a couple of the Terriers. 
and filmed an action, uh, which for me was a very uh, nice moment. Like I say, Stepney, uh, one of my favourite characters, and um, I think one of my favourite stories with Stepney in would probably have to be uh, Stepney Gets Lost as well from Series 5. Um, you know, in my opinion, great um, locomotive. And um, I'm sure you'll agree, a very nice model of Stepney as well, very well uh, detailed. I mean, maybe the funnel could do have been a bit bigger, but apart from that, you know, I think they've done a great job on Stepney. And you've got a nice uh, description card in the back as well. So yeah, that's my 13th place uh, favourite model, uh, Stepney. So next off in 12th place, even though he's number 11, as you can see just there, there's number 11 on the side, we have Jack. And um, I really like Jack's model, and Jack was one of the last characters to be brought out into the Ertel range. So if you look on the back, he's collect card number 99. Uh, the last engine was Jock, which I'll move on to later. So it's funny here, we've got Jack. And then, like I said, we've got Jock as well. Obviously, the difference between an O and an A. Um, but say, so this is Jack. And um, I suppose part of the reason why I like Jack is, I say, I think he's really well detailed. In my opinion, the last models that were brought out in the Ertel range are uh, really well detailed. You know, I really like them. And Jack himself, it's weird, actually. He sort of reminds me of myself uh, when I was a lot younger. Probably about the same age that I actually was when Jack first got brought into the show. Um, but yeah, no, he's obviously called a front loader, in my mind a digger, and, it, and um, although he's obviously not a rail engine or, or, or a truck or a coach, you know, it's nice to have a road vehicle as well, and I do like the detail in him, so like I said, Jack um, is in my top 15 at number 12. So next, uh, in 11th place, we have Duck, the Great Western Pannier Tank Engine. And um, Duck is quite well detailed, I'm sure you'll agree. And uh, I like the face and everything, it reminds me of what Duck looked like uh, in the TV series, the show. So in my opinion, a great model all round. Again, a nice description card on the back. And of course, explains that Duck's real name was actually Montague. And um, again, I've been quite lucky. I've seen a few uh, Great Western tank engines, uh, a bit like Duck, uh, in real life as well. Like I say Duck's always been one of my favourite characters, and I suppose in some ways the reason he's in my top uh, 15 would be that obviously I've got this model out of the box as well. And uh, I used to pl remember playing with Duck all the time. I suppose part of the reason I like Duck as well is because he's green which is my favourite colour. Um, but I've always really liked Duck and I particularly liked the Duck and the Diesel engine um, stories as well and the close shave. You know, and in, say, just in general, Duck's probably one of my favourite characters all round. So that's why I've selected Duck as well in 11th place. So in 10th place, uh, the engine with 10 driving wheels, uh, we have Murdoch, as you can see here. And again, um, I absolutely love this model of Murdoch. In my opinion, uh, absolutely superb, really well detailed. Uh, again, if you look at the collector card on the back, number 97. Um, so one of the last characters to be brought out in the Ertel range, like I said. Um, I really like these Ertel characters, and say, in my opinion, the last few uh, like this were probably, in my opinion, the most detailed. Um, I do have Murdoch in the Hornby range as well. Um, in some ways, for me, I think this model um, is probably the best of Murdoch. I like the face on Murdoch as well. Again, reminds me of his face in the television series, and saying what, he, in my opinion, what he looked like in general. And again, I've got Murdoch out of the box, and that model that I got out of the box, my dad actually got it for me. So if, I suppose for some, in some reasons it's sort of sentimental for that reason. 
Although my dad is still alive and so is my mum, but still, you know, it's nice that they gave it to me. Uh, and what I like about this model as well is they've got the black wheels on the back, like what Murdoch again had in the TV series. And Murdoch's based upon a 9F, and I've seen a lot of 9Fs, and I'm quite lucky. The Great Central Railway, which is my more local one, uh, has 9Fs. So I've been very fortunate to see the 9Fs and also a double header of 9Fs when I was there as well. When the one from the North Yorkshire Moors Railway visited, which I have actually seen at the North Yorkshire Moors as well. Um, so I count myself uh, very, very lucky indeed. Uh, also, the last ever steam locomotive that was brought out um, by British Rail until they decided to build Tornado was actually the Evening Star, which I've seen at York a few times, and it's funny actually. Um, I watched The Chase, which is a quiz show, and there was actually a question about it. And The Chase, who was Sean Wallace, got the question right, the contestant got it wrong, and unfortunately got herself voted out of the game. Uh, and I was sort of shouting at the screen, TV screen saying, Evening Star, Evening Star, because I knew the answer. Uh, so that was quite funny. Um, but yeah, no, Murdoch is one of my, definitely one of my favourite ones uh, as well. So next off in ninth place we have Jock. I'm sure you'll agree Jock is a great model, uh, really well detailed. And if you look on the back of the box, you can see he was the last character that was ever brought out. Um, number 101, which uh, is quite an achievement really. I don't think I ever realised how many there was. I think uh, 101 is definitely quite a lot. And again, Jock uh, is based upon a real engine on the Ravenglass Nestale Railway called Northern Rock which is the same colour and uh, I actually got this model of D Jock from the Entertainer um, but I feel quite lucky to have got it in the box as well because it is quite rare as you can see here and so Jock was only in the railway series, he wasn't in the TV series although Rex Burt and Mike, uh, the other small um, railway engines managed to make it into the TV series eventually but say so this is Jock So now in 8th place we have Spencer, and again um, I've been lucky in real life to see the Union of South Africa and the Mallard, which are the same as uh, Spencer streamlined, and uh, I suppose for that reason that's why I like Spencer himself, and I do really like Paul Spencer, I think it's really well detailed, and again one of the last characters that was brought out, and in my opinion I think this is definitely one of the best models uh, of Spencer. And I remember when Spencer came out, I was very excited. And I suppose, even though I've now got it, I still feel the same sort of way. But again, one that I really, really, really do like. So, in eighth place, uh, we've got Spencer here. So, next off, we have Diesel D7101. And um, later, he was only in the railway series, and he was painted blue like he is here uh, originally. And again, you've probably seen him in other videos, I've got him in the Hornby range, but in my opinion, this is the best model of him, um, detail-wise and everything. So I really like the face and the detail all the way around. And again... nice description card on the back, it even mentions that he's now called Bear but like I said when he was called Bear he was painted green which is the proper high mech colours and unfortunately I've not seen a high mech yet in real life although there is some preserved so hopefully i see one one day but um, yeah he was definitely one of my favourite models and he was brought out at the same time as Spencer who I just showed you um, yeah so Definitely one of my top favourites, 
So this is diesel D7101. So next off here in sixth place, we now have the Flying Scotsman, also known as Flying Scotsman, but as you can see across the top there to say the Flying Scotsman. And again, whenever uh, people talk about it, they always say the Flying Scotsman, myself included. Um, again, uh, I've seen the Flying Scotsman a number of times and uh, actually been on it. Uh, actually stood in the front of it, as you can see here as well. Uh, definitely one of my favourite ones. Also for me, quite sentimental because um, the first time I went to the National Rail Museum in York, I saw it in bits in the workshop area. And that was also the time I saw the Mallard as well, as I was talking about earlier. Um, so that was in 2009 and also, um, I probably, again I've probably said this lots of times before, but I got my footage of it on the local BBC News. So um, again, have my footage of it um, through my town, you know, quite memorable. And uh, of course a very famous locomotive, and I mean this model um, is basically Gordon's model but painted in green. Um, but you know, I think it's great that they brought it out at the same time. And um, this is in the newest style of packaging. And um, the description card on the back, and it mentions about the two tenders, which uh, this model doesn't have, although the wooden one does. Uh, and also, so I've got another style of packaging as well, the blue style. Again, um, you know, Flying Scotsman, I say, one of my favourite ones. So, again, had to be in my top uh, favourite ones. So, that's the Flying Scotsman. So next off, uh, here as you can see, I've got the Silly Trucks. Um, so this is my model of them in the box. I do have them out of the box as well. Um, and part of the reason that these are my uh, favourite ones is because, well, mainly the ones that I've got out of the box, is because I remember back in 2004, we went on holiday and we went to Cheddar Gorge. And near Cheddar Gorge, I don't know if it's there now, but there was a model shop. And I got these uh, in while I was in there. And um, I'd been looking out for them for ages, and even back then, um, they were hard to get. I'm assuming people were just buying them all the time. And it's funny, ever since they've become discontinued, I've actually seen a lot more of them around, uh, people trying to sell them, but, but obviously a lot more uh, expensive. Because um, it, you know, it can be quite expensive collecting these, but then sometimes I've been lucky, I've been able to get things in job lots and that. Um, you know, And if you look around, you can get them cheaper than that as well. And on the back it has a description card and it says on a windy stormy night James is pulling the silly trucks along. They reach the Fogman's old station house and become scared and frightened but good old James looks after them. And um, to me, I don't actually remember that story at all. Uh, to me it sounds more like the story haunted Henry. Um, but then Henry didn't really look after the trucks because he was scared himself in that story. Um, so a bit of a strange description card. But so I do like the trucks. Um, but they say so these are the silly trucks, and um, again, I just I like the trucks in general, and uh, I really like these ones. Glad that Ursa brought them out, and in my opinion, it's nice to have uh, vans uh, with faces on, not just coal trucks with faces on. And uh, yeah, I like the faces; quite goofy looking, um, but quite funny as well. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the silly trucks. So next off we've got Old Slow Coach. And again, Old Slow Coach uh, is one of my favourite characters. Unfortunately, he only appeared in one episode. But um, if again, if you go to Drayton Manor, her model from the TV series uh, is there. Uh, which is quite nice, so I suppose in some ways if you go to Drayton Manor, she's not really been forgotten about really. Um, but yeah, I really liked her and I remember again, uh, like I said, I've got this one out of the box as well. And one that I used to enjoy playing with. And um, I don't know why really, but as a character, and um, obviously this is a toy of my own box model, I just enjoy playing with her. So that's why she's number four in my top favourite. My top 15 favourites. Anyway. 
So in third place uh, we've got Bill and Ben, the Tank Engine Twins. And again, uh, Bill and Ben have always been my uh, favourite ones. And again, um, I've got them out of the box. And again, I used to enjoy uh, playing with them on a regular basis, the ones that I've got out of the boxes. And I just like them as models. Although, like I said, in my opinion, one thing that is a letdown on the model is the fact that you've got that yellow bit there where the cab is on the back, when that should actually be uh, brown, which they've actually got correct there. And also there, uh, that bit should also be in white as well, as shown on the illustration. Um, also, it's weird, really, because um, to me, uh, Bill, um, he's dark on his than Ben is on his uh, illustration there. Also they don't have couplings on the front of them either but apart from that I think the illustrations are okay. And again Bill and Ben are my two favourite um, characters really and I've done them obviously together because they're both twins and in my opinion I couldn't really just say I like Ben over Bill or Bill over Ben uh, although I'm sure maybe some people do but in my opinion uh, they are my, I put them in free because I say to me they're both the, are obviously the same engine uh, as well. So that's why I've chosen Bill and Ben. So as you can see here, uh, second place, I decided to choose Thomas. Um, you know, Thomas was obviously in obviously the TV series, the main character, and I suppose the uh, railway series as well in the end. Um, but yeah, um, again, uh, Thomas and Model, one of the first ones I had, uh, always used to enjoy playing with. Um, and obviously, as I say, when you look at some of like the later models as I discussed earlier, probably not as detailed. Um, but there have been several other types of Thomas come out um, in the Ertel range, but I just thought I'd show you this one for now. Like I say, if you go onto my playlist, you can see all the other videos as well. Um, but yeah, I decided to go for Thomas, as I say, as he was obviously one of my favourite characters as well. And in my opinion, I don't know how you can not like Thomas when he, like I say, he is basically the main character. Uh, so now we move on to number one. Uh, in my top favourite 15 and uh, it is the pump, pump truck so yes it's not an engine um, but it was um, one that I particularly liked and on there you've got old, I'm assuming that's meant to be old Bailey although in my opinion it doesn't entirely look like him but and say old Bailey and the pump truck appeared in series 5 in Haunted Henry and uh, I always really like playing with this one and again, I like unusual things that run on rails as well, uh, which is why I've chosen this as my personal favourite one. And, um, you know, it might sound odd, but say to me, that is why I quite liked it, really. something It was something a little bit different, really. And um, I think even this, although it's obviously not one of the later models, um, you don't know if you can see it as well as I can, but there's like some weathering on the truck and that. And like I said, the fact that it comes with a person on it, um, you know, is really cool. I mean, it's sort of. A sh I think it's a shame, really, they didn't make it. Where when you push it along, um, old Bailey in the stick, the um, levers go up and down. Um, but like I said, this is my personal favourite of the um, Ursel ones that were brought out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, uh, and goodbye.